road. Mm -hmm. Nobody does 20 All right, miles. The recording should no, be starting here right. now. Okay. And I'll have it listed on the Facebook page. I'll tag it, tag you in it once it's done. Can you increase the volume? No, oops. Won't go any louder than that. Um, Won't it? No. That seems quite low. No, I just adjusted it. Oh. There's two pieces that we'll have to fill in for your information. Okay. Uh, that you'll need for your business. One of the things is going to be, I've set up your, uh, an email address for your domain, but we do have to fill in some information for your business to allow the email marketing campaigns to start. So that's something you can do whenever you're ready, when you log into your builder all account. Right, let and me also, write that down. Hang on, Cam, hang on. Log into Builderall. Can you say that again, please? Yes, I'm going to show you. Oh, great, great. So this you'll build when you log right? into your Builderall account, Mailing Boss is the email campaign marketing system. You'll log into Mailing Boss, and it has a Let's Get Started. This is where you'll get started and enter in the information for your business. And that will allow you to attach your email address that I've already created in the system to my mail. My new mail. email address, isn't it? Yeah. My new email address, not the one we talk on. No, it's built inside of Builderall. It's a professional email inside of Builderall attached to your domain. Yeah. Sorry, Cam. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, um, but um, because um, I think it might be, we might miss some points. Um, recording would it. it be okay if I record this on my phone? And then it's already recorded. It? So oh, it's already recording already. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay, yeah, because it's just sorry, that we I can go back to, to it if we you. if we don't if we miss something. Yes, all trainings are recorded. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. So under custom email is where you can see your email address and access it. Depending on how, how, how much you size the page will determine which number page it's on. You can also search in the tools filter, but it'll be under the tools filter of custom email. And this is where you can access your new email address, which is support at your passion. Hang on, say that again. I'm going to show you. Support or your passion. At my, at your passion. Your dot info. Yeah. Support at your passion. We can always um, go through this together nearer the yeah. time and actually send the file when we're ready to send the files. Yeah. Yes. So what you can do with your email address um, it, you have full access to it here. You can log into it from the back office. You can also forward to that if you want to forward it to a different email address as well. So depending on how you want to do that, um, it's a little bit more advanced. You can actually direct, get it directed directly into your Gmail and have it pulled, but that's using POP3 servers and a completely advanced setup that you probably wouldn't want to get into. Not, so, not for me, not right. for me. Yeah, the easiest way is to just put in whatever email address you want it to go to. And you can have it changed here. And then you can create that forward. So I'm, I'm sending you files. Eventually, no, I don't okay. need to do that. I'm going to show you all of that. That's the whole purpose. Oh, of okay. Job. No, why is I thought this was related to it? No, this is just letting you know the pieces that you still need to set up. Okay. Your email address is already set up, but in order to use Mailing Boss with that email address to do automated email campaigns, you have to get started and set up the information for your business. So it's going to. Yeah, ask. I would like. I would like to do um, a recurring uh, email campaign. I think you said it's it was about fifteen hundred dollars. Yes. So you have to fill all the information out for your business to be able to utilize that. Because of CAM okay. spam rules, you have to put in your company info. 
So this information I did not know because it's your company. I can't fill it out for you. So you have to fill out this piece. And where is that again in tools custom? That is in tools in mailing box. Tools in mailing box. Okay. And then you enter in mailing boss and it should pop up with a get started. If it does not, then you can just go to company info. Yeah, it should still pop up until you complete it. So I'll leave that as there, but mailing boss is the first piece you'll want to complete because that will allow you to utilize the email campaigns, which I can show you that in a separate training afterwards once you've gotten that okay. set up. So we yeah, can I'd like to do that. that. But I do want you to get that piece set up because that's something that you'll have to fill in and then it'll be saved in the system. Now getting into really what today's training is, is you'll go into the Builderall website builder. This is where your website is. This is where you'll be able to upload files yeah, as well as create your product. Can you say that again? I missed that last bit. This is where you'll be able to upload files as well as create your digital products. You're going to have to do there. that, Queenie. <laughs> the very first tool. Watch this again no, several times. Yeah. A couple of techno foods, aren't we? <laughs> website builder. So this is the bit where you go. So to build a rule. To upload your, file, your digital files. So. Website builder. Yes. So the first piece that you're going to want to set up in, the, in this builder is the super checkout. That is going to be where they'll allow a payment. Now, the default is WooCommerce, but you can also set up PayPal, which is likely going to be the payment processor you're going to want to use since you already have a PayPal account. Yeah, I never thought about that. PayPal would probably work because I do a lot of things by PayPal. Yeah. So there's yeah, other merchants you. that you can connect directly to the system. There's about four or five other ones that you can connect if you want to use a different one, but I would suggest... Okay going with what you already have. So again, you need to fill out your business name, your, your email that you want, uh, all the payments and everything and your phone number that you want to go to. And when you go into the next screen, I'll actually go into my account so you can see more of the super checkout, but you need okay. to fill that out. So those are the two pieces that you need to fill out. The company info in the tools mailing box. Yes, mailing and box. And then under the... Builder All Website Builder, you know, the first two tools. So Builder All Website Builder, you need to fill out the super checkout information. And then Mailing yes. Boss, you need to fill out your business information. <coughs> and then once you've gotten those filled out, I'll be able to program, I'll go into your website now so you'll be able to see the pages and I'll show you where the programming is. So this is your main site right now. And again, this can still be modified with colors and different information once you get things uploaded. But this is the base skeleton of it right now. Mm -hmm. Which everything can be modified, change colors, anything. Who's that, who's that man? It is a video defaulted from Builderall. But you can change everything in here. Everything's clickable and changeable. You can literally put any YouTube video you want just by grabbing the link off of YouTube onto your website. So if you wanted to change this particular video. I do, definitely. Yes, you can click on it. General settings, once it loads. Um, but once you click on that, I'll skip the tour for now, but the general settings, you see it's a YouTube video, the general settings, if you click, if you had grabbed any YouTube URL and you put it into this general settings, what the YouTube URL is, it will change that video. You can put any video across all of YouTube onto your website. Do you just need copyright or anything for that? No, because it's already, if it's a public video on YouTube, it's already available. 
Oh, good. But once you get super checkout set up, I will be able to modify this button to make it a payment button. So once you get that set up, we'll be able to make this button to where this will be collecting your payments. Mm -hmm. And then your users can then register and log in to access their content. And then here's your pictures again, they're up there, but we'll want to modify that to a either a Facebook album. You can have, I would say no more than five pictures on a website. I like the one where I was wearing the green dress. I wanted that on there. Yeah, I, I haven't smiling. changed any of them yet. We can change them. Okay. But I can show you how to, you can easily change them to any file you want. Click on the picture, the same edit fashion, the general settings, change image, and you can upload any images you want. Um, when you said the users can register, then log into, where do they go to register? On the same web page, your domain. On, the, on this web page. Yes, your passion. So yeah, they'll all be on one page. They can purchase, register, and log in all from this page. Brilliant. That's very efficient. What's the name of the website? Passion. Yourpassion.info. And that's where you'll be selling your product. Yeah. So that's where your customers will need to go on. Mm. And then once they have logged in, this is the part of the training that you will be where you can upload your files. Now, again, remember I taught you about the, part, the, the point of access. So if you yes. want to continue to utilize Google to control the access, you can do that. Um, so content one still has your original script attached to it. So I'll show you that. So That's it. Yes. So can we here, delete it? Yes, it can be deleted. Can you can do that now? It, it can be changed. So I'm going to show you can where you, you do you it do. now. So you'll click on the link here. This will allow you to change the configuration of this button. This is where you would be able to change the file, change whatever you want to change on this particular button. So when we click on this, this is where it'll control where that button goes to. This is the part of where you can change what you want to, how you want to showcase your files and how you want to do it. If you want to continue to use Google, then you'll use the web section and you'll just put in that Google link like I showed you before, how to create the Google links. So that's what's currently in here now is web. You can choose to open it in a new tab or you can open it in the same tab. Those are options there. Usually I select open. There's, there's a then, script on there. Yes. Can you it's, delete it? Yes. Please. Because that's the one that's been edited. I remember what it was. Thank uh, you. So then you can also do a download. Again, if you give them access to the file, then they have the file to do with whatever they want permanently with. But if you do the web and you control the link, then you can control who gets access to that particular link. Okay. Make sense? Uh, no. <laughs> so basically, you have two options on the button. You can either make it a web file or an actual download. So this is where you can upload your files. If you want to do it through Google, you'll do a web and you'll put in the link to that file. If you want to do an actual download, which I suggest you could likely do downloads for the audio, because that's going to be your voice. You can prove ownership of that. If you give them a script. So when I'm having it done in the recording studio. So when he sends the files, how is it as a digital audio to my email address. Yeah. Okay, then you're going to select file. Then you'll be able to go to that file from your email, from your computer. You'll select file. It'll pull up your computer files wherever you have that saved. You can then access that file. Can, can I give him my old email address to send them to? 
it wouldn't matter which email address they're using. You still have to upload okay. the file to Builder all if you want it on your website. Okay. And keep in mind, there's going to be file limit sizes because this is a web page. So depending on the size of that file, that's why I suggest that audios likely should be sent to YouTube because then it, they can- How, do, I, how do I do that? You can record directly from YouTube itself, depending on the equipment that you're utilizing. Record. I think it'd be easier to do the digital audio files. Yeah, once you log in on YouTube, since you already have a Gmail account, you already have a Google account, you just log in with your same Gmail account. I can show you that in, in a second as well. But with this, once you decide which file, the easy thing that you can do with your website and files, once you get your format down, whether it's going to be a download or a web, this button here, little blue, has, has a copy. So you can copy this and you can add another file. And then you can move this over and you instantly can then upload another file. So you can have all of your files added very easily. You can copy this as many times as you want. And then you just move Thank them you. over. So that's how you will add additional files. 17, 17. 17 but the first 17. and second ones will need to be edited with the guest material I'm adding next. Yeah. And then you just come to the edit and you edit the headline to change the text on the button. Is it? Yeah. Because you just so have you'll to see content one. The you can change that. Yeah, so but what about this content of the script? Won't that change? Would that change? Uh, well, yeah, depending on what file you put in there. Oh, I see. Yeah. You can name the buttons whatever you want to name them. Yeah. Put content in there, for example. Save that so you have a couple of buttons there, but you can duplicate as many as you want. Okay. There's, there's 17 all together. But one yeah. and two, I'm going to be editing because I'm adding guest material which I told yeah, you, you can before. yeah you can relabel edit as much as you want we can add as many oh, as you good. want um, I can add more spacing and then we'll choose background colors and everything from there there's backgrounds inside the tops here you can choose the different panel backgrounds what you want to put behind there if you want it to be an image however you want it if you just want it to be a solid color that's all available here that's good type High end, doesn't it, Queenie? Mm -hmm. High end stuff. So then, if you wanted just a solid color background, you could select a color. If you want it to be a picture, you can upload an image. Just kind of depends on what you want for your background. Yeah, sounds good. I'm not the type to change it every week or something. You know, probably just keep it the same for years. But uh... yeah. I and mean, if you want it to be a color, you can change it to a color. Color would be nice. Oh, yeah. That you can select whatever color nice. you want. Pink is nice. Yeah. So it just depends on whatever you want it to be. You have to play about with it when you come to making it. Yeah. You can go through the different shades. Oh, that's good. Oh, so, yeah. Whichever coloring you want as the full rainbow color wheel. Just nice. decide where you want. Now I'll allow you to adjust that. Any questions so far on uploading files so far? Uh... So attach my custom email, see email address and access search and tools, filter custom email. 
support at your passion.info, click on that email address if need to for automated emailing, fill out the information from my business in the mailing box. Is that right? Mailing box. Yes. Ma mailing, mail box. mailing box. Mailing box. Mailing boss. I thought it was yes. mailing box. Thanks, Queenie. And then the builder or website builder for the yes. super checkout. Yes. Which is next to it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Probably need to watch this a few times to understand that mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. And you'll see super checkout in the left menu. Super checkout. On in the menu on the left. Yes, once you enter the builder all website builder, then go to super checkout on the left. Okay, joke. All right. Now, as far as YouTube, I'll show you that it's fairly straightforward on YouTube. But once you've logged into your actual Google account, you'll see whatever profile you have here. And then you can create a channel. Once you've created a channel, it'll ask you some basic information, name, what you want to name the channel. How you I, want think it to I, do, I won't do that, not to start with. This is where you would upload audio. Okay, so upload audio. So then once you've created a channel, as you'll see here, you have your channel. Once you create that channel, then it'll allow you to go to the upload. And here you can either do it live or you can upload a file. And then once you've uploaded that file, if you go to upload file, which can be in M4A or MP3 format, you can upload. What was the first one? MP3 or? M4A. What's that? The video file. How the do video. you spell it? M as in Mary, for the number yeah. four, A as in Apple. Yeah. Great, thank you. <coughs> do not move, Queenie, I need you around. <laughs> So then you can upload file address. if you want to upload a file. You have information on here as well. It tells you more information. I'm sending feedback to Google if you have any issues, and Google will help you out. But then you just select the file from your computer. Once you've downloaded it from whatever email or whatever file that he gives you digitally, you can then upload that. And then once you've uploaded it, you can then get the link to that video. And that link can then be placed on your website in place of the video that's already on there. But grabbing this particular link goes directly to that YouTube video. And that's where you can change it on your actual website here, where you plug in that link in settings. So for example, that link I just copied, put it in here, it changes. Okay. That's how easy you can change whatever audio, you can do just a standard audio if you wanted, you can do a video, but if you upload it to YouTube, that's already in place on your website. You can put a different YouTube link. And you can literally take any video if you just have a motivational video that you find on YouTube. So if I ask the engineer to, to send it to my email, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then how do I get the file onto YouTube? Upload file. Create a channel and then upload the file. Yeah, you want to create a channel, a YouTube. Channel. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's good. So the engineer send to email, then create a channel on YouTube and upload the file. Yep. 
sounds easy, but you don't know my brain. <laughs> it's, <clears throat> it's very easy since you already have a Gmail account. Oh, good. It's already going to be connected. It's going to sign in. That's what it's going to grab 90% of your information. What it's going to ask you is what you want to name the channel. And then it's going to ask for a description of that channel. So you're just going to put in information about your business and what you want to call it. And then you upload the files. And you can upload as your, all of your audio files. You can upload any scripts that you want to speak, any promotional audio that you want to do. All of that can be uploaded to your YouTube channel. And then we can post it. And how'd you get it from the YouTube channel to Any link. your website again? The link. Every, every YouTube video has a link to it. Just copy that link. The same as we did with the Google files. It's a link. Links can be uploaded to websites. Any video on YouTube. Every video has a link. Okay. Just copy the link, and it goes to and it goes into the video side of the website. Any video, just copy the link in the address bar. Copy that link. And where's the address bar? Sorry, Cam. It's in your browser. In the browser. Address file. Every internet browser. You have the address bar. That's how you type in websites. It's quite nice that music is playing. You should play some terrible stuff. <laughs> you can also use the share button off of any YouTube video link as well. You the share button, then you have the link here as well that you can copy. There's two ways to grab it. Probably the first way would be easier. Yes. And then you come to the video and in the general settings, you update the first link box with whatever link that you want to that video. But so you go to the video, then you go to general settings on the browser. General settings in the builder all builder. In the builder all builder. Yes, I'll follow it through you again. So if you're going into your web page, you're gonna go into edit your passion page. Once that page loads up, then you can go to the video section. So they're all highlighted once you click on them. Once you edit your page, once that loads, You'll see the original video because we didn't save those changes. Yeah. You'll be able to click on this. And then it'll pull it into the side menu where you can edit it. Then you have the general set. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a really Click on it and it's highlighted. You'll see YouTube video right here. And then you have the general settings. And I'll leave this one in there so you'll know that you haven't changed it until you see his face gone. Yeah, yeah. So once you copy it in here, you'll hit the tab button to save that video. And then you'll make sure that you click save at the top to save the changes. So that's the video section on yes, the passion page. The Yes. Okay. How many degrees is it there? A hundred. Oh, well, we complained about 29. So that is the majority of everything that you'll need to get configured. Um, you can always make changes to the YouTube videos, the text, colors, mm. everything else on your website from there. 
that covers that the great. main operations. Sounds good. And then this, those couple of pieces that once you get those set up, I, I can do a little bit more configuration, such as the additional button configuration for the payments, and then getting into your mailing boss to, and then the next training, once you've gotten the mailing boss set up, I can show you how to add email campaigns. Okay. And you, you can do the email campaigns and charge me for it. Yes, yeah, so if you need me to write them, they're very expensive. Depending on how long. I lost length. you. Like a webinar, webinar would be nice. Yeah, depending on the length that you want. About an hour? Yeah, about an hour is about $500 for a webinar. And that's if you have it scripted already. If you have to generate script, the content and create it, you're looking at closer to another $2,000. Okay, 2000, 2000 if you haven't got a script for it. Correct. Okay, and can you um, run it more than once? Like, it, it just stays It'd be on uploaded there. to YouTube. Upload it to YouTube, okay. And then you can put it on the website. You can have another page that's completely for a webinar. Probably keep it on the same page as this. I won't be able to because I have to pay for the scripts, won't they? So the webinar would be free. Yes. You could make the opening video of the webinar and then have the pay button just under it. Just yeah, that's that. a good idea. Opening the video webinar. Thank you. Yes. So this is now it's all right now the video the recordings on Facebook but I'll also get it uploaded to YouTube as well so you'll have both places to access it I'll send you the YouTube link once it's been rendered onto YouTube so you'll have that link as well to access the recording and it'll be on Facebook so you can access it there as well thank you so much yeah sure thing um, let me know if you have any final questions you still got about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I don't think so. No, I think that's all. Well, so um, what, what is Share Locker then? Because um, uh, from what I can, get, I, mean, I don't know anything about, you know, I, I, my understanding is pretty much what you've just talked about today. Um, yeah. But Builder or is the website builder. Yes. And Passion yourpassion.info yourpassion.info is the actual um, website. website for the the actual work yes. so this is for customers to go on but to actually build the website you need to go on builder builder or yes. the website's built already it's just customizing it is that yeah. right cam correct it's already well, live and active share? So what, what, where's the share, share locker, locker come from then? What, what's share locker? So you'll no longer need it because we're building content buttons. Oh, good. So share locker is something completely different? It's within Builderall. It's in here as well. Oh, but it's right. A different okay. Component. So it's just a feature of Builderall, but you don't Yeah, it's need a it separate anymore. tool. Right. Okay. So we're going to be using uh, content. What, Mailing what's... boss and builder, website builder. Builder. Yeah, we're going to be using the website builder instead of the share locker. Yeah, okay, space. right. So am I right in saying that um, the first steps would be to go on Builder or and um, create a website from <laughs> Builder or The website's already created. You just need to fill yeah, in your business just, information. Yeah, just talking about customizing it and uploading files. Right, okay. That's yeah. what we'll, we'll do. So when... what's the website address then? 
that's it your passion dot info is that specific yeah. to your yeah oh I right chose you it. chose I, it i pay i pay for it every year about oh 20, i see 25 quid i've just so you've got every year you have to renew this so your website it. is called passion your passion yeah. dot net okay dot info dot info yeah. and this builder or is it runs it it allows you to host the website right i'm with you right yeah. okay yeah yeah no, because when you asked about Sherlock, I didn't know what Sherlock was. No, I didn't. I didn't either. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We just found out it's a feature of Builder All. Right. So, I see. Yeah. So, so it's this not is a separate thing. Yeah. I see. No, right. I okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Are you happy? Do you mm, do you understand yeah. it? Because so, I don't. <laughs> so kind of. I right. think I'm gonna have to watch the training a few times to really get my head around it. But is there a step by step sort of like? like worksheet that she can maybe upload or you know have just as a very sort of like basic like you know just as a basic guide to what on what you know the steps that she there's a full guide and training in, inside of builder all itself click on the start here there's right there's... okay but then also obviously you're going to be sending a link for this video that you've just that you've done today yes because you said you've recorded it so yeah yeah so she can so read, be fine she can yeah. you can watch her watch a few times and pause it and, can and you pause it cam not yeah, a live video you can't pause it. you can't pause you'll be able to do the show on the recording on the recording i'm on about yes yeah okay. so okay. yeah so obviously right. whatever you're watching it from just yeah. sort of stop as you go and then yeah. obviously Write play it down with or, the yeah yeah, just have a yeah, few goes good, on it just yes, to sort of see. Idea. And then, yeah, because yeah. that's the only way you'll know. Because I, yeah. I think if I sat here trying to take notes, I, I wouldn't even know what I'm taking <laughs> notes on. So it'd be easier to just watch yeah, the video yeah. over again. Yeah, a few it times, will. It will. Just to familiarize. That's really good. And then, like, yeah. maybe go through the website yourself and just yeah. kind of play um, around with play it. Around you can't do it. any harm, can you? No. Yeah, no. As long as you're not clicking save, you're not going to change anything. You can click on right. everything you want inside of every right. piece of it. So your passion, your passion .net, is that live now? Does it have anything on no. it? No. No, so no, it's I just an empty it. website. Yeah. Right, okay, fine. Because I've taken so bloody long to do everything, but I've had health issues. And How long has, have you, has it? Years. I'm working on it off and on, you know, for no, years. No, but how long have you had that web address? Oh, that, for? about three months can i think six months I yeah something like that yeah to have it to have it yeah i'd have to yeah, look back yeah. when you launched it it's about the same time you started your builder all account webinar thing. yeah Is, sure what's that about a webinar have you heard of webinars no oh you haven't is it just like a, a video yeah where... it's just a video it's just a, a is it is it somebody talking cam a webinar yeah so it's either me or i pay extra for cam to talk mm. and they have a script and it'll give you a website on there uh, it just talks about the product and your life and how your life's changed or what hasn't essentially been. what we're doing right now is a webinar yeah this is a webinar yeah this is... oh so it's just like a video it's like just a, a video a, a recorded introductory sort of... video oh right okay yeah. yeah wouldn't that be better coming from you though it's yeah your... i know but i get nervous about things like that and would would you would you necessarily be you know on camera or would it just be your voice do you have to be on camera cam for a bit webinar record it however you want it yeah so maybe just have a nice sort of feature. no camera and like a no feet like yeah have like a, a, could you have a photograph a montage or something could you have a photograph going? of you on there yeah and then just talk yeah yeah, that'd that would be the best thing idea. to do. The, I get easiest, all nervous the most get common, if you're not doing a video, is to actually have words. You have it transcribed on the screen. So anybody that's not actually, there's people that are blind that actually use YouTube and they listen to it. Oh, I see. Yes. So when you that. make a webinar, yeah. is it just a case of using your phone and just videoing, you know, uh, or recording something on your phone and then uploading yeah, you it? You could do it on your no, phone. No, he can do it. He can do it for me. I pay five hundred dollars as long as I've got the script. What is the, what? I, yeah, 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 yeah. I suppose the five hundred dollars is if I talk myself, isn't it? No, if you wanted to do it yourself, you can easily do it to YouTube. You can start and record. Turn on your recording. 
can do it from yeah. your phone. You can do it from a computer. Yeah. You can do it. So so. You can just basically uh, record with like any, like a phone or anything yeah, any and then upload that onto YouTube. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, fine. Yeah, we can do that. That's quite easy. I'll, well, just, I'll just video you, but obviously <laughs> we'll have to blank out. Yeah. yeah, you can turn the camera off. You just need the microphone. Turn the camera turn off and just have your off. voice. Right, yeah. And then upload it. And then um, how do you do it where, you know, you make a YouTube video, but you don't necessarily, you just want to upload the the recording of your voice. and then You just have don't like record a, video. You record just right. audio. And then how do you get the screen? What do you, how do you upload for the content on the screen then? It will caption it automatically. YouTube will right. do that for you. And then you can double, what you'll want to do is double check the captioning and make sure that it matches exactly what you're saying. Sometimes it'll mix up a couple of words depending on your right. vernacular. Right. So okay. just, you just that. make sure, but it's YouTube will, out. you'll go to edit that video and YouTube will already yeah. have the transcription. Yeah, well, that would be something fun to sort of Yeah, do, it'd be it? nice to yeah, have that to as, the, as the opening video, wouldn't it, on the web page? Rather than go that to YouTube, I'll show you just real quickly on it. So if you go to your channel. Your channel, yeah. So any of your videos, you can go into them. You can edit those videos, and then you mm -hmm. can have the transcription. Mine are all actual mm -hmm. videos, but you'll have an edit video button for your video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it'll have the transcription, and you can double check that transcription, but it'll auto automatically transcribe that. Oh, right. Okay. So what it, it just comes up with um, like subtitles on the video, does it? Pretty much. Okay. That's so you have an editor and this is where everything is. Yeah. So if somebody's deaf, they can read it. Yeah. Correct. So that's well, good. Yeah. So you could sort of have subtitles yeah of what you're saying yeah, that'd be really and then good. maybe yeah. like a montage or just like a picture of you on yeah, the screen just, rather than yeah. Yeah. than an actual video and if you do have the video maybe you just, learn the video do a, do a lot of things. yeah i've already got a Get nice dressed. picture oh you've got a nice yeah. picture yeah i was wondering if you'd mind if i send you my photos because i'm worried if my website got closed down i'd lose my photos where are your photos stored now they're in uh email I think the email. Yeah, download. Mm. Download it, download an email. Mm. And um I'll be taking some, hopefully if I remember at the hotel and in the studio. Mm. So um I don't know if that's a possibility. Oh, you mean to take photos? To just to give you them, send them to you so that if my computer crashes, because it's very old, um well if you send them to yourself via email, then you can access whatever computer you have oh yeah see what you mean yeah because it'll always you'll always have your email address won't you yeah so yeah so you're never going to lose them even if you even if your computer crashes or something you've got it on your email haven't yeah you? thank you well if you, have you got a google drive a, a google yeah drive? i have but i don't know how to you use don't have it. to use it because yeah. that i mean it's quite handy it doesn't work that well do you use google drive cam yeah i have go i have all google storage that's good. Well, you can just email Google it has photos. The same as emailing it to me. You'll, okay. always, you'll always have it. Yeah, good you'll idea. Yeah. So, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, no, that's good. Would you mind if I emailed it to you as well as a backup? Because yeah, you can email it to me. I've changed the number, the telephone number that my email account is linked to, and I haven't logged out of it since. So I don't know whether it will work or not. A computer man came here and did it, but I'm not sure whether... He, he didn't know fully whether it would take the new mobile number if I was to log out and log in again or log in at the library or something, mm -hmm. you know. He tried his best, but... Yeah, well, yeah, you can email it to me or you can just email Thank it you. to yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Because, I mean, as long as you, you know your email address and password, yeah, you'll always have it, won't you? Hopefully. Thank you very much, Cam. Yep. Oh. Well, I'll get that uploaded to YouTube and then I'll give you that link as soon as it's done. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks so very much. Cheers. Hope to see you too soon. Yeah. Bye bye. Right. Have a good one. Bye. Have bye. a good one.